Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at making minecart stations using primarily a piston, a sticky piston, or two normal pistons, one to push and one to pull if you're in an older version, and powered rails for the boosting. These stations are obviously a lot smaller, more compact than the older stations because we simply don't need the larger boosters using carts since we can just use the power rails to boost. But down here what we have in our arrival zone is carts coming up, hitting this block, and falling down. And one problem with not having a piston in the way is that whenever you get out of your cart, especially in SMP, of course we can't use pistons in SMP yet, but whenever we are getting out of our cart sometimes it judders around a bit. And this piston is great to have here because it holds it back so that the cart stays in place. So even if this powered rail is powered, the cart can't move anywhere, and if we get out, it's going to stay very steady in place. And then whenever we want to send the cart off into our Pez dispenser, and I am using a Pez dispenser, so we'll have to use alternative methods if Pez dispensers become impossible in the future. But for right now, the Pez dispenser is very convenient, so we are sending it off into a Pez dispenser using a button, which is a convenient delay that is perfect for pistons for pulling it back. So, the power is coming from this button, and you don't want it over the button. If you had the button here, and wire coming off that, it would be a problem because it would affect this pish piston, and it would do something weird. It would reverse it. It would make it so it's never permanent, and instead of it being permanent, we just have it um, the opposite of what it should be, so that it comes out when we press the button and goes back in. And that's really weird, so I have it off to the side. And I could have it up higher, but I wanted it closer to the reach. You can... You can screw with that and uh, do whatever you need with it to make it better for your particular situation. And you can even use a pressure pad if you really want to. But I decided to just throw this button on the side. So we have the button giving power along the back, down here, and into our inverter, which is keeping this piston open as long as the power is off. And it's holding this rail, which is going to be pulled back whenever the piston is pulled back, whenever it's retracted. And then that same power is coming down along the back and through these repeaters, which probably aren't really necessary, but I like them anyway just to ensure that no carts will be sent uh, unless we really want them to. So I figure it's good to just have, just in case there's some sort of glitch or something. So we have a r delay of max here, max setting on this repeater and the default setting on this repeater and then it's just going to power this powered rail and that will launch it into our dispenser and I also have a switch up here so that whenever we want to uh, mass load our Pez dispenser we don't have to constantly put a cart and press a button we can just flip the switch and put in as many as we want this Pez dispenser holds three carts at max, but you can make it as tall as you want to add more carts. So we just load up our three, flick the switch back off, and then over here the carts come flying up this ramp and fall down on this piston. And this piston is very important in this particular setup just because when carts fall down on a powered rail, if multiple carts fall down on top of each other, they will not stack. Instead, they will combine and make a double booster or more. So we have this piston to hold them up, and then we just flick the piston off and then quickly back on to drop a single cart whenever we need it. And that will be our sort of cart calling system instead of sending out a booster. Although I kind of like the look of boosters when they get sent out, it's, I don't know, there's something something very charming about it. I can't really explain it, but I like it. But this system is a lot more compact anyway, so what we need is a very quick, a very quick flick off of that, and that's what I have here. But first, I sort of want to demonstrate a problem that, uh, that I mentioned just now, and that is the double booster s sort of thing. So I have this powered rail unpowered so that it won't send out our cards whenever I show this off. So I'm going to flick this switch to turn it on, 
and you see all three of the carts we sent down just combine to make a triple booster just to sort of illustrate that point so I'm just going to turn this off and we don't need that anymore and I'm going to power our rail and now I'm going to reload our dispenser okay and now to demonstrate how it works we just press this button the power is coming down and through this sort of I call it sort of a kickstarter because I know in a lot of my videos I just plunk down a lever whenever I need to kickstart an automatic system and you need to kickstart systems like that every time you log in so I sort of like making these and I just will probably be using these more in future videos but basically it makes it so that you don't need to double click a lever instead you just press a button and you set it to whatever delays you want to make it a much quicker on and off than if you had just flicked the button without the sort of system because this as you see here whenever I press this in out in out and obviously that would let in a lot of carts and we don't want that so what this is doing is it sends the power down into an AND gate and down into a delay of one at max and one one away from max so one at the fourth setting and one at the third setting and that's just sending the power in so that this power is in while the button is pressed but this power doesn't come in until later so that uh, the button may be on for a while but this is only giving power for a limited amount of time after the button is pressed and it's basically just an AND gate with one exception it has an OR in the middle so that when either of these are active it's going to go in so it's sort of like in a reversed AND gate and um, you just have to replace the power the uh, torch on the side with just a redstone bit coming out and that will make sure that until both of these are on that's going to be powered it's just sort of a reverse reverse AND gate and um, then we get a very quick button press even though the button delay hasn't changed sometimes it glitches up a bit as buttons and pistons both tend to do sometimes but for the most part it's rather reliable so I'm going to stop flying for a bit okay and then we just flip the button on off and it sends one down so as you saw it's a much quicker press just do it again very quick and it just launches one cart and then whenever the uh, cart arrival whenever the um, what's it called I don't know the the leaving spot yeah technical term the leaving spot alright you get the cart coming down and it hits this block lands in the leaving spot yes and then you just get in and you press this button which is right next to a powered rail so that it can power it without any redstone and then it's going to power this rail send us down and I have one rail in between that powered rail and this one so you know you can use the same piston system over there if you want to ensure that they don't get all wonky whenever you don't want them to and send them flying but just get in you flip the switch you're powered and you get sent off and when you arrive you just jump out of the car at our arrival zone flip the button and it sends it down just pulls it back powers the cart and goes down and let's just see it without a person in it this time they just flip the cart down falls in we press our button and then it just continues on as usual so it's uh, rather compact and a lot of the concepts involved in making them can be used in a wide range of other uses and I'll probably using I'll probably be um, using this kickstart system a bit more in the future since uh, I sort of want to start using it instead of levers in case I have to demonstrate it again to someone 
And um, that should be about it for this video. If you have qu questions, I'll try to answer them. See you next time.